so guys so the so the so the idea is to move forward with uh, the auto layout because it makes it it makes it, it makes the life easy you know when when it comes to this uh, adaptive user interfaces right so the logic used to design the uh, set of constraints to create a specific view is very different from used to pro yeah so the logic is different right but when you use auto layout it it makes it easy for you to do uh, do this task right like uh, it, it makes your life easy right for you to uh, look into this right so let me just change the size of the screen okay so the rest of this guide helps you to do with the uh, auto layout right so it was just introducing you that there are a couple of approaches frame based and you know programmatic approaches but then this said the uh, it's it's advisable to go forward with auto auto layout right okay so then now so auto layout without constraints so let's see what this guide says about that right auto layout without constraints so let's let's see now auto layout without constraints is they say use the stack view right so now this is what i was telling the first approach to use the stack view and for you to get get things done right so the stack view provides an easy way to leverage the power of auto layout without introducing the complexity of constraints so let's see how to do this right it says a single stack view defines a, a row or column of user interface elements. Stack view arranges these elements, right, based on its property. So a stack view will have its own properties, right, such as the axis, orientation, uh, distribution alignment, and so on and so forth, right. So we'll see that, right. We'll see that in a little while, right. So in a little while, I will be using a stack view to to do uh, to get things done, right. These are the properties of the stack view, right. So this defines the orientation, for example, whether it's uh, horizontal or the vertical or horizontal, right? The orientation, and then uh, then the orientation defines uh, whether it's vertical or horizontal. Now it's like this. Now axis and orientation, right? It has two things. So this is for UI stack views, right? This is for NS stack views. So we will talk about UI stack views and NS stack views, you know, in detail, right? Uh, but let's focus on 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 trying to make this, you know, up and running first, right? So somehow you got the axis and the orientation, then the distribution, right? Uh, how 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 should it view along the axis? If it's horizontal, how should be the distribution be? Is it going to be fill or you know likewise, right? And the alignment with its center line or likewise, and the spacing, any spacing between the components, right? So in interface builder, you can uh, use a stack view. You can drag and drop, you know, and 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 place a stack view, right? So we are going to do that in a short while, right? Uh, so, so let me show it to start with, right? So if I go to Xcode, so now I got a label here, like let me say, let me keep it there. Now, if I want this, the concept of stack view is, what I will do is I will, I will add a stack view, right? So I'll be adding a stack view. So, so I, either horizontal stack view or vertical stack view, right? So let's say if it's a horizontal stack view, I'm just giving an example. If I drag this right into this so so you should see that in the view hierarchy over here right see just here in the view hierarchy you can see uh, uh, the stack view being added just uh, be below the label right and then what happens is if I want to add a button let us say see so if I want to add a button right let me add a button so what I do is I will be adding the button to the stack view right so what I will be doing is I will drag the button it's easy if I drag the button in the view hierarchy, right? And can you see the placement? So, so if I put it here, it comes out of the stack view. But now it says this button is going to be inside the stack view. So I place the button to be inside the stack view, right? And now let us say if I say it as button one, for example, then if I want another button, right? Say once again, I will be going to the uh, object palette, right? And then add a button. Once again, I'm dragging it to the view hierarchy just to make sure that I'm putting it inside the stack view, just below the button two. But see, it's inside the stack view. So now you got button one, and let us say the button two. If I click here in the view hierarchy, let me call it as button two, right? So the button two, right? So the button one and the button two. So I got uh, two buttons now in the in in the stack view, right? So in the stack view, so why the buttons are coming in horizontal direction is because I place a horizontal stack view, right? 
But let us say if I place uh, uh, another stack view, let us say after this, say stack view, if I place a vertical stack view, right? So let's say it's a vertical stack view. Let me put it here. So the vertical, now it's a vertical stack. View. How do I know? You can see it uh, graphically as well. And if not, if even if you click here, it says the axis is vertical, right? So the previous one, the axis was horizontal, guys, right? So you got a, a horizontal stack view and a vertical stack view, right? So on the vertical stack view, if I put the, say, if I put a couple of buttons, right? So say button. Right, a button over here. See, I'm I'm dragging uh, the buttons directly to the stack view, so I know where it's getting placed. See, it comes downwards, right? Vertical direction, right? So it is coming vertical. So this is uh, the, the the basic of a of the stack view, right? So the button uh, you can call it, say button one. Let's say this is button two, right? Okay, call this as button two, and let's say call this as the button three, right? Okay, so I got the three buttons in the uh, vertical stack view. So now this is how you place components onto a stack view, guys, right? So so this is how you place the components into a stack view. Now let's look into the next thing, right? So once you place the components, let's once again look into this. So you in, then you got these properties actually. So if you look at the stack view now once again if I look here if I click on the Horizontal stack view you can see axis alignment distribution, right? So you got the axis Alignment distribution. So these properties are and the spacing right they are shown here, right? They are shown here, right? So, so now you understand these are properties, right? So to use the stack view just drag it That's what we did right and then drag uh, the content and drop it into the stack. That's what I did. I dropped the buttons into the into the stack guys, right? Then it says if an object has an intrinsic content size, what does that mean, right? Uh, so it appears in the stack at that size, right? If it does not have an intrinsic size interface, so what is this? Interface builder provides a default size, right? You can, you can resize and the interface build adds constraints, right? Now, what is this intrinsic meaning? Let us say if I put uh, put a text box or something like that, right? Or a, a, a button. Now, see, I got a button here, right? So it has a simple uh, text. But if I say this, if I say something like, okay, add add new employee, right? Say add new employee, right? If I say now, see the button size automatically gets adjusted. So this is what you know as an intrinsic size right so so if you got an item with the intrinsic size where the size depends on the content right where the size depends on the content right then what happens is uh, as it says the stack will get if an object has index size it appears in that size so in inside the stack it appears in that intrinsic size right so these are basic concepts and to, it says to further fine tune the layout, you can modify the stack view's properties, right? So using attribute inspector. So these properties you can you can modify, right? For example, let's say something like this, right? So let me show it to you like this. Let me put uh, put some quickly. Let me put uh, for you to see it clearly. Let me put a background. Let us say if I put uh, I don't know, say this yellow color background, and for this also, let us say I put that background. Now you can see right the two buttons are very close right the two buttons are just close to each other so what i want to do is let me click this right click this so the two buttons are close to each other so what i can do is i can click on the stack view and change some of the properties let us say spacing let us say if i give a spacing of uh, 20 right for example right can you see that it makes that spacing so so you can change the properties of the stack view and and get uh, certain uh, 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 alignments or adjustments uh, being done right so that's what it says you can use the attribute inspector for this right uh, likewise right the following example use eight points spacing right so there's a spacing right so let's try to extract a few things from the uh, AP uh, developers guide right the stack view also is based uh, the stack view also bases layout range views and content hugging so we have a lot of properties like content hugging and stuff like that we'll come into that then it says additionally you can have nested stack views meaning a stack inside other stack views right to, to build more complex layouts right so 
what what is a nested stack query? So let's do a simple exercise on that, right? Uh, uh, nested stack view example, right? So what I would like to do now is um, I will okay, I will delete this, right? Mm, and let me say let me say I want this label, right? So I say let's say I won't call it as a employee window, right? Employee window, guys, right? So employee window. And now I want to place it. Let us say when I when it comes to placements, so I'm going to put it, let's say this says it's centered horizontal, right? So I'm just going to put it here. And then I'm going to add the stack view, right? So stack view, let's say, uh, so what I want is if I want something like this, right? So if you look at this carefully, it it's a vertical stack view and inside the vertical stack view, I have as children, I have horizontal stack views. So do you get the point? So it's a vertical stack view, meaning I have four rows. Give, give me a sec, just uh, let me check something very quickly for you, right? Just to help you with something. So is that clear guys, right? So once again, think carefully. This is a stack view and four rows. So four rows means it's a vertical stack view, right? So you can add four elements downwards. What are each of these elements, right? Each of these element is another stack view, but it's horizontal, right? So child stack views. And inside horizontal stack views, you will have a label and a button. So let me do it for you now, right? Let me do it for you, right? Okay, so, so I got the employee window, right? And say I, I have it, and then I'm going to add the stack view. So stack view. So as I said, it's going to be a vertical stack view first, right? say vertical stack view and into that the first row I want a, a horizontal stack view so I'm going to add another horizontal stack view this time I'm going to add it and put it as a child of this vertical stack view as you can see right you saw what I did right okay cool and then what I'm going to do guys is I can add the labels and the buttons right so so a label right just show you a label and I in order to make it convenient for positioning I'm looking I'm using this view hierarchy so I'm going to say that I want this label inside this uh, horizontal stack view right and then I'm going to add a text field right I'm going to add a text field and I'm going to say that I also want that inside that horizontal stack view right just here right cool now you can see the view hierarchy right so I click on the label and I might call it as say employee number right say em employee number right okay guys and then I got the text box in front right cool cool then i want the second row right say employee name so what i'm going to do is add another another stack view right so i'm going to add another uh, horizontal stack view right so now if i'm trying to place that uh, see it's it's coming as a child and i let me see if i click here but it's outside i want it to be inside this so i'm going to drag it and find the position so if i put it here you see it's inside this so i'm going to shuffle it a bit like this you know so now I got uh, another stack view right so how many stack views do I need like say employee number employee name say salary right let's say three of them right employee number name and the salary right okay so I so let's say salary and uh, what address yeah okay so let me add two more stack views right so so once again another horizontal stack view right exactly there see now it's in the line and another so it's it's think them as rows you know of your of your form you know so another stack view right and then let us say i want let's let's finish this first right now okay, i got a, a employee number right and let us say a, a text field right let me just do a few things friends let me click on the text view and just put a background you know uh, just to make things little clear right let me put it as a yellow background right just just for example right then i'm clicking on the outer stack view and i'm just uh, moving it so i can see the grid line so this is center horizontally so i just place it like that okay i got the employee number right and then i need the employee name right so let me also do a few things let me just take this and put uh, let us say a color right a few basic things my friends 
and then let's put a font size uh, so that it looks you know a little good right let's make it bold right okay some minor changes right so, okay then let's once again place it uh, just with the grid lines and let's say this one um, i'm going to make it once again bold right i would like to have it bold employee number yeah and this looks fine for me right okay cool so i got it now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, copy this right because i have some properties laid so i'm going to copy control c so just control c and control control v right so i'm going to paste uh, one two say four of them as you see it got pasted here but then i'm going to move them see look at um, how i deal with this view hierarchy i drag it to the second stack view right then this one i drag it to the next stack view then this one i'm dragging to the next stack view right so this is how you do it right so i got the employee call them but this is not the employee number so i would like to now change it as let us say the employee name right okay guys employee name right and then let's say i want uh, i want this to be employee number name salary okay my friends salary and let's say this is the employee address right okay cool right okay so now i i place the labels right so what's next now i need to place the text fields in front of them right awesome guys awesome now the text field so because i have put a yellow color text field i prefer to have the same shape right so i'm going to copy that from the view hierarchy guys control c control v control v control e so i want so then i'm going to move them <coughs> into the relevant stack views right all good awesome awesome right so i got uh, employee number name say salary address and stuff like that right now let's keep it this way just just right how about running this now right shall we run this my friends right <clears throat> and do you think you want some buttons let's do that as well before we run it right so let's put some buttons then once again i need uh, another uh, stack view right as a row you know you get the point now right so i'm going to add a stack view right uh let's say another horizontal stack view right but i'm placing it like i have to place it in the same line like you know you have to be careful not the exact here right so it, it's in the same line got one right um am i happy with just one let's say yes or no doesn't matter let's let's let's, let's be happy with one so put a button right put a button right so i'm going to put a button into this exactly inside that you have to be very careful to look at where you place it right or put a button let's call it as uh, save button awesome awesome let's give some uh, changes let's make some changes let's make it look ash color let's put the guys let's put the text color to be white awesome guys awesome and how about making hold on how about making it little 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 yeah bold you like it yes i know that you like it how about make it little larger right okay like this good done so if you're happy with this button now i want say three buttons right so i'm going to copy that so look i'm clicking on the view hierarchy guys right clicking on it copy right paste paste right i need three buttons so i'm going to call call the second button as the delete button right and let's say the third button as the as the clear button my friends okay good 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 okay so it's it's all attached that can be and it's not in the same alignment right it's not aligned the text boxes right that can be changed with the properties of the stack view right but before that let's run this now right let's run and see what's going to happen so i'm designing this on the design canvas on a as you can see my mouse on iphone 11 and so i'm going to run it on iphone 11 to see what's the outcome right so let's run this my friend so let's click on the run button so the emulator should start right the emulator should start and i should see something something now right let's see where's the emulator right it's 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 getting loaded let's give it a little bit of a time right let's let
Okay, okay guys. So look at the outcome now, right? Look at the outcome. So what do you see here, right? What do you see, right? So you don't see as uh, the outcome in, in, in your emulator, you don't see it as you design, right? So that's what we are going to discuss here. So what has happened here is when you place your components in your design canvas, they are having some default constraints, right? But that's not good enough, right? So now you will have to make sure that you are adding your own constraints. That's what we are, we, now that's why we now deal with constraints. So let, let's see what I'm going to do, right? So in order to add a few basic constraints, so the label, I have kept it out. So I'm going to add, add, add uh, some constraint to it. So how do you add some constraints? There are a couple of ways of doing this. We will see it more in detail when we look at the documentation, but let's do it first. What you can, if you want to add some constraint to the label, say employee window, what you do is say you want to center it, for example, right? So say whatever the, let's say, let's say this way now, when you run it on, on the iPhone, at least the label is centered, right? At least it's there. How about checking this uh, before any changes? How about checking this on uh, iPad, right? Let's check this on iPad, right? Let's see what sort of outcome you will get on an iPad, right? Let's see, my friends, right? So I'm running it on iPad, right? Let's see what's, what's the outcome. So guys, see, now in the iPad, even the label is not centered, right? Though it was it was centered on the iPhone, but not on the iPad. So this is the whole business about making it adaptive now. So when I when we mean by adaptive user interface is say the uh, heading we, uh, label em, this employee window heading label should be centered in both the iPad and iPhone, right? And let us say that stack view should be centered in both. Now let's see how to do it. So that is the business of adaptive inter interfaces, guys. That's the business of developing adaptive user interfaces. So how do you do it? What uh, what I can do is I can use uh, starting with auto layout constraint you know, because I have already started with the stack view. But after you put contents in the stack, we have to do a little bit of auto layout to start with, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to click on the uh, uh, employee window label and drag that, you know, click and drag into into this into the corner and then i can give whatever the constraint i want it right so let us say i want it to center horizontally right in the safe area you know what is safe area we discussed in the previous so if i say center horizontally in the safe area now you have added a constraint right so if you run this now on your ipad or iphone in both of them it should come centered because you have added a constraint now i hope you you are getting clear little by little on what i'm talking here right can you see guys on the ipad it has got centered right let's see on the iphone as well right so let's let's see on the iphone right it was centered already on the iphone earlier as well but let's 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 give a quick look right see okay now now this is another interesting thing so it's not seen on the I, I, iphone right it's seen on the ipad but not in the i why why do you think this is right what what do you think the case for this right let's see what makes this happening this way right let's see what what makes it what makes it do this way right what happens is you need to do one you need to do another thing because when it comes to uh, assigning constraints uh, you need at least two constraints, minimum of two constraints if, if uh, you want to make sure that a, a component will be visible in, in, in the appropriate manner, right? So I added one constraint, which is center horizontally, but the second constraint is I should say how much of a gap I have to maintain from the top to the label, right? From the top. So I didn't do that, right? So how should I do it? Once again, uh, I can just click control and drag right and i can say uh see top space to safe area how much of space do i need right top space to soft safe area so if i click on this see it adds a small constraint right it adds a small constraint of whatever the current value you had right but you can have a look at it if you click here carefully it, it, it has given a constant value of 28 points right so it will maintain a constant value of 28 points let's make it 30 or let's make it even 50, right? Let's make it 50. So I just clicked and 
entered so it's maintaining a 50 uh, a gap of 50 points from the top so now on all the devices it will maintain this gap of 50 points right something interesting guys isn't it right so now if i run this on iphone 11 where i didn't see it earlier i should see it now right let's see let's see right see it's coming guys the label is coming and it's maintaining 50 percent of a gap the same gap will be maintained and it's centered because of the second constraint same gap will be maintained in the ipad as well so let me run this and show you on the i ipad right so I, I i hope you all are enjoying this session guys right i hope you all are enjoying and learning about adaptive user inter interfaces guys right it's 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 something very important for you to understand understand about moving forward so it's it's centered right it's centered right now a couple of uh, important things has to be discussed right uh, but before that um, let's do it this way now a couple of important things now i added two constraints right i added two constraints but you can have a look at them so where do you see them is when you click on your label you can see these lines right so these are the constraints so this is one constraint right it says it a, a constant space uh, of 50 points from the top area right is that clear guys so this is this way you can look at your cons constraints guys right and if i click on the other one so if i just click on this you don't see but if i click back and if I, this one if i click on this it says uh, maintain a 50 percent uh, from the top can you see if you read this then if i click on this next line you see here if i click on it can you see guys it says uh, employee window center so so center for the safe area so i have added two constraints so this is what in the theory we were talking as constraints right and there's another way of looking at these constraints you can click on the label and you can click on uh, this uh, size inspector you know look here look 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 at the corner you can click on the size inspector look at my mouse when you click on the size inspector can you see guys it talks about constraints and it shows that you have given two constraints right so you have given one and a second one what's this you have given uh, uh, the top margin to the top margin right and it says click uh, uh, click to filter the constraint below so if you click on it, it it shows only that right it shows only that down here right what's it and and what properties if you click on the other one it shows only that see a line center but if you just click in general if you just come and just you know just click in general usually it shows both of them down right both of them right wonderful awesome guys awesome so this is the uh, uh, this is the uh, uh, starting point of making your apps adapt to my friends right hope you all are getting it little by little hope you all are getting it little by little right so this is something awesome right you are learning about making it adapt to you right but we did the changes only to the label and and at least as i said we had a two constraints so i added two constraints right i added two constraints to the label but i did not add any constraint to the um, to the uh, view controller to the to, sorry to the stack view i'm sorry to the stack view that is why you don't see the stack view in the right place but you will see your um, uh, 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 label in the right place centered and having maintained a gap of 50 right and if i want i can increase that so i have multiple options either i can click here and change it or if not what's the other option guys click on the label then go to the what go to this what's this size inspector then from here if you want you can uh, double click on this and then it takes you back to the same place and let's say if you give uh, uh, like a smaller value say a uh, 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 10 right you should see uh, uh, appearing see the gap reduced right as you saw so I, it, it reduced so if i run this now you should see that it's maintaining a very small gap of 10 points right uh, from the top right so this way you can control your stuff right so you should see that it's it's maintaining a see a very smaller gap and just not the dif distance or right just not the distance let me run it on on the iphone as well right let's run it on iphone and look at look at the uh, look at the distance it's maintaining right it's 10 points right see a very small gap now if i go back and if i click on this i don't have to always go uh, you know and click on uh, this attribute inspector right so i don't have to click every time on this so if i just go click here now now it's too close i can't see so the best thing is for me to go once again to this go and double click on this and say okay i need 50 points right of a gap right it's up to you to say how much of a gap see it works now right now if you run this 
it sh you should see that you know you you, you are uh, constraints in action right see guys it's working awesome 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 so this is the first lesson about um, a pra first practical lesson about how how you can make your uh, um, ui components uh, to uh, to support adaptive interfaces adaptivity so so now my label is getting adapted right it's getting adapted it it works uh, but this is only the basics right it's not a big uh, thing i have done right i have not done a lot of uh, i don't i have not done a big customization but this works guys so what's my next point my next point is to do the same thing for the uh, to the stack view right so let's do it in the next video guys right let's touch the stack view immediately in the next video right until that um, um, hope you all enjoy this right and um, uh, until that uh, uh, I will say bye for you now, right? For now, and I will meet you with the next video, right? Wait for that, guys, right? See you guys.